your typical everyday kind of mom, you know? I am a porn star. I am a stripper. I used to work at a brothel. It's my life, and I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And I love my kids at the same time. The van has got an issue. When you turn the van on, it makes a very strange noise. To hear the noise, you have to first get through the two trillion decibel radio. You hear, and uh, we got a problem. You have to take a car in and get it tuned up. I want her to get up and figure out what's wrong. Because you know what? I'm taking the car in for a tune-up. I'll do the work. I'll take it in. But whatever the bill is, she's paying for it. Ted, I need you out. I need you now. I can open any door in this house with something as simple as a good hand. Betty, Betty, I need you out here. I need the truck keys. Where's the van keys? The van is, has a big problem. I need the van keys. Betty Wallace, I need the van keys. Why? Because I need them. Where are what? They? They're not in the back. Because I want to show you what you've done to this car. I already know. Have you ever turned it on without it's the radio It's been like blaring? that forever, dude. You know how long it has been oh, like so that? Oh, so since it's, it's been like that forever. Been like what? Been like what? I'm a f***ing really happy person and but anytime I'm in this house, I feel like I'm a complete bitch because he is a f***ing asshole. You don't even know what I'm talking about, do you? Betty? Dude, I'm serious. Get Betty. out of my room. I need you up now. Betty, get up now. Stop with me just because you're stupid f***ing Where she goes, she better not try to take that van. Betty! Betty, come back now. She's running down the street. Betty! You know what Betty just went? She just ran down the street in her underwear. I don't know where she went, but I do know she's really pissed. <laughs> just the way he approaches me, he's just a f***ing And then he, he rips the blanket off me. Like, what if you were naked? Yeah, I know. What if I was <laughs> naked? He needs to respect my privacy. Seriously, like, it's, it's not cool. Like, I have a lock on my door for a reason. No, none of these kids pay rent. None of these kids pay for anything. If I want someone to open a door and they're not gonna, I'm going in. It's just that f***ing simple. They Seriously? need to be respectful. Like, Seriously, it's... They want us to be respectful with them. They need to be respectful with us. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. They're... Uh. I know she's 19 years old and she's becoming a woman, but if she wants her own privacy, then go get a damn apartment somewhere. I'm doing stuff to move out, but it's not gonna happen overnight. I'm going to college right now and I don't get help from that by them. I'm paying all of it for it by myself. So yeah, I wanna move out, but it's not that simple because I'm not getting any help from anyone. Taking the van in to Goodyear for a tune-up and have it checked, everything checked, clean the brakes, and whatever the bill is, I'm gonna call you. You gotta pay for it. Well, All right, then, you it's know. gonna be like a thousand. Cars? Cars? It's like a thousand or something. No, why is it gonna be a thousand? Cars are expensive to get something fixed. They work by the hour, Dad. Betty, we've taken it in for a tune-up, and I need to drive to see how those brakes are. Are you hearing any noise yet? No, me? I told you that the brakes are fine. Okay. Well, then I'll just have them check the brakes because the last time the brakes got down to metal. You act like I haven't been getting the oil checked and you know I already and told you, but I already told, no, if you're gonna scream at me and be a dick, then I'm gonna be a dick back. You just don't understand, baby. I'm trying to Paul. tell you that there's nothing wrong with All brakes right. right now. Need more Tulupi. You gotta admit, that's awesome. All right, Diane, don't add to it, Jesus Christ.
I try to take the time after working so hard to be able to take care of this family, having a nice dinner, sitting down with the kids and trying to talk to them, and all they want to do is just be attitude and bitchy and snappy and things like that, and I just don't understand teenagers. She always says to me, what's with the teenagers? What's the problem with them? Oh, I don't understand. She doesn't understand. The problem is, they're teenagers. Nasty, won't answer you, won't do anything, pissed off at the world. It's what teenagers are. These are normal freaking kids. The problem is, you know, you knew when you were getting them, being a parent, you might have thought twice about being a freaking parent. <laughs> I won't have no more. This this is it for me. No more for me. And you have to go get another wife if you want another kid. Uh, that's all right, honey. I, I wouldn't <laughs> mind another wife, but not another kid. Hey! Well, you said it. <laughs> <laughs>